Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can write Java programs in Visual Studio Code. Before we go ahead and get started, make sure you've downloaded Visual Studio Code. If you have not yet downloaded Visual Studio Code, please check out my previous video. I'm going to link it in the description box below. I'm going to try to have it in the upper corner for you to click on too. Do that first. I show you how you can download it on a Mac. Once you have downloaded it, then we can go ahead and get started. So now you have Visual Studio Code up uh, and you want to start writing code in Java. So first step, let's create a new folder just on the, in the desktop. And for the sake of this video, I'm just going to call it tutorial. And now let's open the tutorial folder inside Visual Studio Code. So click on open desktop and open that folder. Okay, we are now in the tutorial folder. Let's create a really basic Java program. So click on this icon for a new file. Let's call it hello world.java. So make sure you have the .java for whatever Java program you want to write. Enter and here we go. Now we have hello world.java. So you can see down here Visual Studio Code detected that we have a Java file in here. So it's prompting us to install the recommended extension for Java. So we need to go ahead and do that. Click on install and it's a Microsoft extension for Java. Wait a few seconds for the installation to finalize. Once that's done, I will be back. While this is installing, I wanted to talk about what this extension does. So you can see here, it provides language support. So let's say you have syntax error. It will underline that. It will give you uh, auto completion choices and stuff like that. So it helps you write better code. There's also a debugger that's included in this extension. And there's also um, a test runner. So if you want to test your, your code with JUnit test cases, you can do that. And it also has some other project management tools that we're not going to use for this video, but are also very helpful for creating bigger projects in Java. Now that the extension is finally installed, we can continue. We don't need to go through this part, so you can just skip that and just exit out of that. And you can also exit out of the extension. Let's go back to the side panel. You can see that there's a new icon here for testing that was included with the, with the Java extension. Let's go back to the Explorer tab. Now we're back in the hello world.java file. Let's open a new terminal and let's begin writing our file. First thing we need to do is create a new class. So let's say public class, hello world. And hello world needs to match the name of the file. Now we want to write hello world, right? So we need to write this in the main method. And the syntax for the main method is public static void main string args. This is the syntax for the main method class. Everything in the main method is what actually gets run when you compile your Java program. Now to print out hello world, we can use system.out.println, system.out.println, and in quotes, we can write hello space world, exclamation point, and semicolon at the end. Now, save your program. So I'm gonna use control S. I'm gonna add a comment and you can also add a comment by using two backslashes. And let's just say output hello world to the console. Okay, now we're done. So we wanna actually run this now. And to run a Java program and to compile it, in the terminal, make sure you're in the folder, which if you have opened it through Visual Studio Code, you should be in the correct location. And here, what you need to do is type Java with C for Java compiler, and then the name of the file. So hello world.java. Enter. And it should be compiled now. And you know that it's compiled because it created a class file. Now, to actually run it, you type in Java and then hello world without the dot Java and hit enter. 
and there you go, it printed. If you've run into any issues after compiling, it's probably because one, you might have a syntax error. Make sure that you don't have any red underlines. If you do, the extension will let you know that you wrote something wrong. The second option is that you probably don't have the Java development kit installed in your computer, meaning that your computer doesn't have Java installed. So you need to do that, and I can show you how to do that. Uh, go on Safari, type in JDK, and then here, the first link, you can click on that, and then JDK download. Then navigate down here, and if you're on a Mac, this is the one that you need to install. So if you click on that, check this box to accept their agreement, and then hit download. Since I already have the JDK installed, I don't need to actually, I don't need to install it again, so I'm just gonna cancel that. Then when you've installed that, go ahead again, compile your program. You probably need to restart your computer and it would work. So thank you for joining this tutorial, very simple Java tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you want more Java tutorials or if you have any questions and I will try my best to help you out. Thank you and see you in the next video.